there, it's Vicki Howell here for Yarnspirations.com and I am so glad that you're joining me for the first bag of our summer beach bag knit along. For this particular bag, the only thing that you need to know besides basic knit and purl stitch are three skills. One is to increase heavily by turning one stitch into three. The next thing is how to do the cluster two together stitch. And the last thing is how to heavily decrease by turning three stitches into one. And I'm gonna show you how to do all three of those things. So the pattern calls for you to cast on and work a few rows in garter stitch, which is just knitting every row. And you're working on the smaller needles and that'll create a nice firm edging. And then it's asking you to heavily decrease by creating three stitches out of one. To do that, you're going to knit that again I split the stitch you're going to knit into the stitch without letting it drop off the left hand needle then you purl into that exact same stitch and then you're still not dropping that stitch off the left hand needle you're going to knit one more time and then you slide it off. And now you have three stitches where you had one before. So again, you knit, purl, whoops, keep that on the left-hand needle, and knit again, all in one stitch, and that creates three. And you'll do that all the way across, and that'll triple the amount of stitches that you originally have. All right, so then you're gonna be working um, on bigger needles and you're gonna to transfer to bigger needles following the pattern. And the bulk of the bag is made out of this really cool cluster stitch pattern. Um, and it actually takes a few rows, but really it's one stitch just worked at different intervals. So I'm gonna show you how to do the cluster two together stitch. Um, as you can see, I've already switched over to the bigger needles. I've worked a little bit of the stitch pattern just so you could see it. So the cluster two together stitch involves two stitches. So you're going to knit two together, but do not take the stitches off the left-hand needle. Instead, knit them together again through the back loop. So that just means going through the back leg of the stitch. And then you slide them off. So you haven't actually decreased, you still have two stitches, um, but because you're essentially twisting them, knitting them together and knitting through the back loop, it gives it a little texture. So once again, knit two together, leaving those stitches on the left-hand needle. Knit two together through the back loop. Let's see, my hand is blocking it. I just want you to see through the back loop. slide that stitch off. And you're just gonna continue doing that all the way across. And you'll end up getting a really cool open weave texture pattern like this. So if you will, imagine that you've done that a million times over. Actually, I meant to use that other, well, it doesn't really matter. Um, imagine that you've done that a million times over, you follow the pattern, you've worked the 18 inches, um, and now you're ready to heavily decrease. I am going to knit three together. And this is knit three together all the way across. And what this does is this takes all three stitches and turns them into one. So it's the opposite of how we began. So we go through all three of the loops, the first three loops on the left-hand needle, and then knit them together as if they were one. And you might have to wiggle waggle your needle a little bit to get them through. And this will cause it to heavily decrease and you'll go back down to your original stitch number. Those are really the three basic things that you need to know. Everything else is, is really just knitting and purling and you're gonna get a really great result of a bag, super text, textural and also great for you know, the beach, but really even for a farmer's market or, or just carry-all at any times. Look how pretty that looks. All right. Thanks.
Facts, and I hope that answers a lot of questions for you.